Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy Star. Welcome back to my channel. If you follow my Instagram or Facebook, you will notice that I went scuba diving. There, I met this very friendly sea turtle called Jenny. So in today's video, I would like to share with you how to paint this sea turtle in watercolor. I'll talk about how I layer the color and how I do the background, and walk you through step by step how I complete this painting. Now, if you're ready, let's get straight into it. As always, I start with my sketch. I refer to my reference photo and draw out the basic shape. Then I mark out the patterns on the arms and legs so it's easier for the coloring process later. Then I start putting a base layer over the whole body. Depending on the area, I change color accordingly. For example, the top shell has reflection areas, so I apply yellow on that. But for the body, I use color that are more for the shadows. Try to keep the base layer lighter so we can work on the details and layers later. After I'm done with that, I start painting from the eyes and then I add the darkest patterns around the head. I like to use clean water to soften the hard edges. As you can see here, I like the patterns around the mouth so it looks more natural. For the patterns around the arm, so the shape doesn't have to be perfect, just following the direction to put on patterns as you can see here. And make sure to leave some blanks in between each patterns. I like painting out the patterns around the edges first, then simply fill up the inside. You can see that I'm holding two brushes in hand, one for adding base layer and the other one for adding darker shades, so you don't have to constantly rinse your brushes. For the shell, I'm using wet on wet techniques here, which means I first put a base layer on, then quickly add darker shades around the edge while the paper is still wet, so the color blends out nicely. For the shell close to the tail area has reflections, so make sure to leave some blanks while coloring.
Next, I'll start painting the darkest pattern around the belly and the inner side of the arm. I'm using the same techniques here. I add colors while the paper is still wet. And you can see because the color blends out naturally, so there's no hard strokes. For the pattern around the legs, because the color is slightly lighter than the arms, so I add base layer first, then I use the other brush to add clean water to blend out the color, as you can see here. For the background, I apply colors directly on the dry paper, then I quickly add clean water to soften the hard edges. After I'm done with that, I sprinkle some salt on it while the paper is still wet. Because the salt will absorb the water, so this will create a snow-like effect, and this is what I want for the background. Make sure to sprinkle salt evenly on the paper so the snow-like result will look better. I like to do it small area by small area, so I don't have to worry about paper drying out. Then continue the same process until you finish the background. Lastly, the touch up, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas that need to be strengthened again. Now that painting is about done here, comment below and let me know if you have any questions. That's all for today's video, I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye!